Hey guys, so today I decided to recreate my childhood home. Um, this was a lot harder than I was expecting it to be, and you'll kind of see why in a bit. But I decided to go with a fairly large lot, and as I was going, I didn't really realize how large my house was, I guess, compared to Sims houses. So I decided to start with the outside just so I would know for sure that the whole thing would kind of fit the way I want it to. We we don't have a lot of shrubs that kind of match what we had growing up and the windows were really difficult for me. I wish there were more two panel windows. You know, I, I just think they work better. But that's kind of what I went with. It was the closest thing to what we had. Um, I really lately have been enjoying doing all the landscaping and stuff, especially now that I know you can make things smaller or bigger, I feel like you can make it a lot more customized and a little bit more realistic looking. So in my house we had this kind of curved pathway. I do wish you can make cur curved pathways with the actual stone because I don't really like having the fudgy edges, um, but that's just like a small little tidbit that bothers me. Um, we did have this big dogwood in the front. There's some things I couldn't really remember. I know we had like a cherry door, but it wasn't as red as this one. Again, I couldn't find anything else, so this is the closest I could get. Our mailbox was right next to the door, kind of like that. It was a little more sideways but I thought this was a little more appealing to look at. Now for siding that was tricky too because our siding was like a light gray with a slight blue tint to it and this is almost too light and a little too warm but you know you just gotta make do with what you have. So we had three little doggy dormers going on. I think those are what they're called or just the top two are doggy dormers and then the front's an awning. <laughs> I did mess up here and I realized when I was inside the house, but I should have just cut the roof off at each doggy dormer and then built it on the side and in the front because when I am inside you can see part of the roof. Um, but I'll fix that next time when I actually furnish the house. Um, I wasn't sure what stage of house I wanted to build if I wanted to do it kind of where it's at now or if I wanted to add the extension that we ended up adding. Um, later on I do add the extension which is just a simple room so it's nothing crazy. But another thing I noticed not a fan of are all the chimney options in this game. They're all just kind of slightly weird when it comes to sizing so I had to make the whole chimney a little bit wider and then just kind of place it on top. To me that looks pretty strange but I guess that's normal I'm not really sure so in my house growing up we had I love lighting and looking at it at night we had an actual archway that was a bush and I'm I've never seen it in the game before um, so I was shocked to see that it was even there so that was really actually very pleasing <laughs> we don't have any garage doors which makes sense because there are no cars so instead I used a really big window that kind of resembled a garage door, but a little more glass. We have this little patio area with a glass table, you know, typical stuff. Little barbecue, some garbage cans. I might go in and add a little bit of greenery because it's looking pretty bare right now. But, uh, for, but first I kind of just wanted to map out everything else. We don't have, or we didn't have some of the stuff that I'm putting in, but I needed to replace what would have been there because we don't have that in the game, like some outdoor storage bins for seat cushions and stuff like that. So inside with that little room I just added actually is like a boiler room and laundry room, which is why on the outside I put some pipes because in my house growing up we had like the little meter outside. Um, so I feel like little touches like that make the house look, I don't know if it makes it look more homey, but more realistic. Having little details and little clutter, 
I just think is more realistic. Now, adding this awning was pretty difficult. I didn't want to do um, the ones that are kind of pre-built because this one was coming out of the house just like the way this looks right now. I could not find something that matched it because it was actually metal and very light, but I think that works. Here we have the little garage. In my house, it was a little bit, it had storage, but also had a um, cooler and stuff like that. I added decoration boxes. The one in the front is probably the only one that's going to be accessible, but you only need one to decorate the house. But I really love having a room like this. And when you're playing the game, I think it's more fun to put stuff that's in the family inventory in an actual storage shed. Um, I don't know, it's just like something extra that I like to do. And all of these shrubs we actually had, we had those little lavender bushes in the back. I thought um, that was a nice touch. And I was just trying to fix the layout. I couldn't totally remember the way the hallway was upstairs. So I just tried my best. And then I added some lot traits. I added, um, I don't remember all of them, but I know I, one of them was the ley line. And I added that because I'm a twin. And so I was like, might as well make that a reason. You know? So yeah, I also discovered um, that you need to be in live mode for the free camera, so that's how I did this. <laughs> Instead of all my other videos where I'm not doing it. Um, I'm really happy with how the outside looks. I'm gonna add some more decorations and stuff, but that I'll probably put in later, you know. When it's time to decorate the inside of the house. Also, I forgot to mention, in the corner over there is another shed, but this one is a woodworking shed. Um, we'll get to it in a second, but my dad actually had a shed that looked just like this. It was a bright yellow, unlike this one, but he had a little workbench and everything because he used to make some furniture and stuff. So yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you have an amazing day. Let me know if you want me to build my family. Um... Maybe that could be fun. Thanks for watching.